Hey everyone, I was just dropping by to let everyone know that there's a surprise geomagnetic storm underway right now. Also, there is multiple CMEs heading this way. Now, experts are scratching their heads trying to figure out what's going on with the sun. The sun's behavior is very out of character for the supposed cycle it's in, but this is something we've been warning that would happen to watch for the sun's behavior. Anyways, we have all these CMEs headed for Earth right now. Um, there's about four or five. I'll be reading that in a minute. But also, the surprise storm is underway. So um, let me go to space weather and read that to you. Geomagnetic storm underway now. A surprise geomagnetic storm is underway on May 14th. Storm levels are currently at a G2, moderately strong, which means auroras may be visible in northern tier USA states such as Minnesota, Michigan, and upstate New York. The reason for the storm, they are saying, is a crack has opened in Earth's magnetic field, allowing solar wind to enter the magnetosphere. Okay, multiple CMEs are coming. Three and possibly even four CMEs are en route to Earth following a series of explosions near sunspot AR2741. The most potent so far occurred on May 12th when a filament of magnet magnetism surrounding the sunspot became unstable and erupted. Similar eruptions on May 10th and May 13th have combined with this one to produce a train of faint coronal mass ejections, CMEs, heading in our direction. The incoming CMEs are lightweights compared to the bright, massive CMEs typically seen during solar maximum. However, their combined effect could rattle Earth's magnetic field. NOAA forecasters estimate a 55 percent to a 60 percent chance of geomagnetic storms on May 15th and 16th when the CMEs arrive. Storm levels are expected to range between G1 minor and G2 moderate. This means auroras could be sighted in northern tier U.S. states such as Montana, Minnesota, and upstate New York. We've also just had a 7.7 .7 earthquake. Originally it was an 8 point but they've already downgraded it to a 7.7. .7. So today's full of sevens, a seven point or a seven point seven earthquake and a KP seven. So okay, so with all these CMEs coming towards the Earth, they are all faint, kinda like it talked about. But you gotta think about it this way. One on top of another, on top of another, on top of another. It's just building up pressure, building up pressure, up one pressure, up one pressure. So, you know, we've already 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 had multiple ones hit us. And now we're watching for all these other CMEs to hit us. So the pressure is just going to continue to build. So we'll have to keep watching for earthquakes and volcanic activity and, you know, keep our eyes on all that. We are also starting to enter our front side alignment with the brown dwarf system. So all this activity is about to be heightened. You know, earthquake activity, volcanic activity, everything. So also with the sun, that's a big one or how we're seeing the sun throwing off these CMEs and multiple ones, given the cycle we're in, they talk about, oh, but solar minimum this, solar minimum that. Like I've said before, and I've talked to y'all about many times, this solar minimum will be different. This will be totally out of cycle for what they're used to a solar minimum. So, you know, as this brown dwarf system's coming up and coming up and getting closer and approaching, it's throwing off all the stuff at the sun and the sun's reacting. So the sun's growing these sunspots and coronal holes and throwing off these CMEs. And so they're all scratching their heads right now, wondering why the sun's so active. But, you know, we need to watch the sun. That's a big sign for what's going on. Watch the sun, know the cycle it's in, and see that this is different and it's not reacting the right way. So keep an eye out for that also.